Namaste beautiful yogis. Welcome to Ali Kamanova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing yoga for tone. This class is going to be suitable for all levels but we're gonna push it. So remember to do as much as you can and rest when you need to. You can modify any of the poses and you can rest through the poses that are a little too challenging for you. And remember to flow with strength and ease. Starting at the front of the mat, roll the shoulders back and down. Bring the hands over the heart and take a few deep breaths through the heart. Allowing yourself to sink into this moment. And also contemplate the word tone, toning the body. And what does it mean to you? Do you have a negative um, association with it? Do you love it? And also translate it into toning in general, toning the mind, toning the brain, toning the memory, just in general, tune up, tone, tightening things up, freshening things up, bringing the multi-layer meaning to the word. Let's inhale the hands over the head, exhale them over the heart. Inhale over the head, pull the belly in as you lift up and start to feel that connection through the core. Feel your feet and bring your awareness to the fingertips, lifting away from the feet. Exhale, folding forward. Stop as far down as you can go without compromising here the alignment you can bend the knees and you can be just halfway up feeling here the stretch draw the belly in into a mini stomach vacuum and exhale hands down on the floor step into plank Press the heels away from you, feel your plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. And back to Chaturanga. Exhale, down dog. The second Chaturanga is always optional and you can do it from your knees if you wish to join in for it. Nice, complete exhalations here in downward facing dog, lifting the tailbone as high as you can. Take this opportunity to just sink into the pose, feel the pose. Align with downward facing dog. Feel the benefits. Feel the spine decompressing here. Feel the blood rushing into your face. And this is toning for your face. I have noticed that um, doing yoga is very, very beneficial to the facial muscles. We cannot stop aging, but yoga really, really helps with reversing certain certain things that we can experience aging or even it can be very helpful for acne so feel the blood rushing into the face and smile soften the muscles the face show muscles
One more breath here. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through. High lunge. Feel here the pose. Feel the right knee over the ankle aligning. Not over the toes. Keep it back. Extending the tailbone slightly down and connecting with your core. Clasp your hands and reach over to your right. And back to center. And here we're going to step to the front, touch the toes and step it back. So try not to swing your leg like this. That's not very good for your knees. You don't want to swing and actually hyperextend here. I'm showing you the wrong move. <laughs> so <sighs> unfold the move. First leading with the knee and then leading with the heel and then back. Give it a, just a try, just a test and see how much more engaged your muscles are in your core when you're not swinging, when, you, when you're not using momentum, but you are really tuning in <laughs> with the move. All right. I'll give you a few tests on the other side so we're somewhat even. You don't have to be 100% even. One, two, three, four. Pull the belly in. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step it back, high lunge. And let's lower the knee down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hands over the heart. And let's bring the left elbow on the outside of the right knee. Alternatively, a little less intense version, beginner version, is left hand on the floor. So choose your level here. This is a warm up, but it's also, <laughs> it is a cardio warm up. Reaching over the head. Exhale down, plank. Spread the fingers wide open. Chaturanga, up dog. Chaturanga, down dog. Coming back to the sense, the attitude of gratitude. Here that you're able to be on your mat, that you're able to play around. Let's take the left leg up, step it through, high lunge, feel the alignment again, extending the tailbone down, clasp your hands, reach over to your left. So feel your alignment here. Do you reach and bring your right shoulder in or do you reach and lengthen both sides of the torso opening? Coming back in. Let's do a few test drives here for the little kick so that we can do about the same amount of kicks on each side. So just give it a go. Feel, feel the proper alignment. I'm not going to show you <laughs> the improper alignment because it's, it is not good for the knees. Pull the belly in. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 
10, step it back and we're gonna lower down. One, two, squeeze, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, hands in prayer. Either do the beginner version, right hand on the floor, or bring your elbow on the outside of the opposite knee. Right elbow to left knee, press the back heel straight up. Breathe, enjoy the burn. <laughs> Coming out, exhale down, step it back, plank. Chaturanga, up, dock. And you can do the knee chaturanga, down, dock. Breathe. Walk your hands to the back of the mat, to your feet. Exhale, folding forward. Bend the knees, chair pose. Tuck the tailbone under. Let's bring the hands onto the knees, straighten the legs. Give me a stomach vacuum. There is no toning without toning the digestive system, which can help with toning the hormonal system and then the belly and from there we generate energy to tone the body all right so exhale and hollow the belly two more One more. <clears throat> Good. Release, walk your hands to the front, down dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through. High lunge. Clasping the hands and reach over to the right, opening that left shoulder. You can look up. Back to center. And we're going to step to the front onto the right leg, left ankle over the right knee. Hands on the hips, you can have them by on the hips the entire time if it helps with resting the shoulders a little bit. And then pulse on the sides, hip strengthening. One, two, three, four, five. Step it back, lunge. And again, passing through a hip opener. <laughs> Sit back, great. One, two, three, four, five, step it back, and again, hip opener, sit, feel it, one, two, three, four, five, toning our curves, <laughs> and again, open, one, two, three, four, five. This is a pose that is lacking in a lot of yoga classes, the hip strengthening move. So that's why I'm bringing it in. Last one. One, two, three, four, five. And let's step it back. Here, <laughs> I'm gonna totally <laughs> offer you a challenge. We're gonna do hops. One, and so forth. Let's go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And since we're toning and trimming the belly and toning the digestive system, one more twist. Either hands over the heart or left hand on the floor. Choose your level. 
both twists are equally beneficial you just need to be at the level where you feel the twist inhale reach exhale down chaturanga up dog and chaturanga down dog inhale the left leg up step it through high lunge clasping the hands reach over to the left and keep the right shoulder open shoulders down really lengthen press into the back heel and feel the stretch all the way through hmm. back to center and let's bring the ankle over the knee hmm. it should feel good one two three four five step it back and hip opener again <laughs> flex the foot sit back feel it and really squeeze the hip you can bring your hand here for five step it back so that you can feel the muscle working hip opener and one two three four five step it back step it to the front hip opener sit back feel it we're following a hip stretch with a hip strength pose step it back and let's do jumps one two three four five six seven eight nine ten hands in prayer twist and if both sides don't feel exactly the same they never will be and they don't need to be um, the way the body works is that has been studied sometimes when you strengthen one side the other one strengthens and with stretching so as long as we're moving and doing things and not say doing go just on one side forever but we're balancing things out then overall we are rebalancing the body and the two sides are never quite exact exhale completely coming out of the twist and exhale down hmm. plank and chaturanga and up dog hold it and bring the knees on the ground coming into all fours we're going to bring the left hand palm facing up across look up shoulder down back of the head down soften inhale coming out exhale opposite side inhale coming out down dog adho mukha svanasana widening the back here engaging the back you can gently roll in the triceps so the triceps rolls in towards the ears that also engages the back 
and puts the shoulders in a favorable, favorable position. That's how down dog becomes a rest place, a resting pose. Walk your hands to the back, exhale forward fold. It should be a little deeper by now. We've warmed up. Chair. And we're gonna stay in chair and walk to the front, engaging the booty. Walk to the back and walk to the front. Stay at the front and bring your hands over the heart. And we're gonna pose the right leg out to the side, but not directly on the side, slightly back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And take a big step out in plie. And we're gonna lower down, lift one knee. In. Opposite. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now lift to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and moving the hips in circular fashion, walking back and forth on the mat. Be a little groovy here. And yay, lower down plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog. Chaturanga, downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through warrior one. Hold it and deepen it. Explore the pose, feel the pose. Tune in into the pose. Straighten the lead knee, hands over the heart. Take a little wider stance here and lower down warrior two. Hmm. Breathe, deepen it. Reverse it. Side angle, either elbow over the knee or right hand on the floor. Reaching over the head, maybe really lengthen here. Part of the toning effect of yoga is those side bends and stretches. Lower both hands down on the floor. And here you're gonna step back into plank and step the left leg forward, right left, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, Let's do 21 to even it out. Step it back, plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, downward facing dog. Take the left leg up, step it through, press the back heel down, warrior one. 
feel it pause here and make this work make this count feel the hips the work here is in the pelvic area the hips there is quite a bit of variations and ways we can align or misalign here micro bend in the right knee is always advisable in straight leg poses focus on the outer edge of the foot and the center of the back heel without forcing it if your body is not yielding effortlessly into this don't feel the pressure to put the heel on the floor just feel your energy shooting down directing down so that there is that intention there the intention is far more important the feeling of the pose than the actual final look of the pose great straightening the lead knee take a little wider stance here and then take warrior two now the hip is externally rotating and your foot is a little more open you can deepen it feel it i'm warmed up but <laughs> it's almost 80 degrees here in february it's a really beautiful hot it feels kind of humid but in a good way tropical day here so getting deeper in the poses but i'm sure you're getting deeper too even if it's colder where you're at and let's reverse it and side angle reaching and try to bring or keep the shoulders above each other in the same plane this is a really deep stretch here so enjoy it great exhale down and let's step the left foot in take this one three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen pull the belly in sixteen seventeen eighteen 19, 20, 21. Step it back. Chaturanga and up dog. And down dog. Spread the fingers wide open. At first, when you properly align in down dog, it may not feel like a established habit, but over time it begins to just snap in. So work on alignment and it will become second nature to you. Let's look under the left shoulder and under the right. Back to center. And let's walk to the front exhale forward fold deepen it a little bit since the last one straight back inhale coming all the way up exhale hands over the heart you should feel taller here 
standing tall. And you can begin to just tap in place, tap, 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 tap in place. Tap, tap, step out, side lunge. Tap, 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 side lunge. Feel the strength of your legs engaging the core here. When you're lifting the knees here, really pull the belly in. This is a really good way in a standing pose to strengthen the core side pull the belly in side 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 and here we're gonna take the side mat center Step side to side, reaching in front of you. Pull the belly in, straight back. Step to the center. Side lunge, side lunge. Let's reach and reach and reach. Pushing the booty back and reach and reach and reach and reach and reach keep going with this one or join me for the next level which is jumps that's the interval yoga portion of the class straight back looking a little bit ahead of you not at the floor not all the way up because you don't want to strain your neck but you want to have a little forward gaze Feel your booty pushing back. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Step at the front or hands at the front plank. Chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog, and we're going to take the right leg up. Step it through, warrior to directly, yoga portion of the class. Reverse the warrior, and you can bring the left hand back and around, lift and lengthen. Straighten the knee, reach further back and take a triangle pose. You can keep your left hand back and around or you can let it go. Open the left hip. Keep your legs engaging here. So don't collapse into the knee, overextending it. Bend it slightly so that the muscles are also engaging. Look down, glide your right hand on the floor, six to 10 inches in front of the foot. Take half moon. Begin to stack the hips and the shoulders on top of each other. You can have both hands on the floor if you're more on the beginner side and stack the hips or begin to stack the hips in the direction of on top of each other. And bend the right knee, step the left foot back, turn the front foot slightly in, flex the left foot, stretch here. Plank. And we can step the right foot behind the left wrist, 
and reverse it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lower down onto your belly, lift, and we're gonna swim. The legs and the hands are moving, engaging the lower back. Swim, swim, swim. Engage the upper back as well. And bend in the elbows. Lift the elbows up. Keep moving the legs. Hold here. Great. Down dog. Inhale the left leg up. Step it through. Go directly in warrior two. Reverse it and feel it. You can wrap the right hand back and around, soften the shoulder, lengthen. Straighten the knee, reach further back and take triangle pose, really reach and then lower. Breathe. Experiment with the micro bend in the left knee and feel how this engages the muscles surrounding the knee. If you feel that you can use a little more narrow of a stance here, do that. And look down, shifting into half moon, flexing the foot. And from here, you're gonna bend the left knee, take the right foot back, turn the left foot in and take a stretch here. Let's shift over to the opposite side and maybe do a clasp. And left side clasp. And take it to the front plank. Let's bring the left foot behind the right ankle and right behind the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Glide onto your body. Sit down, lower down. Lay back down. and prop up onto your elbows. Let's do knees, but really, really pull the belly in. Lower down, and we're gonna do the 100, only not 100 times. <laughs> so bend the knees at 90 degrees, and really lift and really feel your belly contracting. Focus on that feeling, and let's go.
and if your head gets tired bring one hand behind it just for support and keep going <laughs> Good job. Let's bring the head and shoulders down. Lift your legs, lift your booty off the floor and let's go. Spin it to the right and spin it to the left. And I'm gonna double pad my mat for my <laughs> spine. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine ten it's a pine twist time take your knee across opposite side and no toning is complete without a thyroid stimulating pose so if you're not doing plow just do bridge Otherwise, join me for plow. It is a very, very toning for the entire body pose. But for the mind too. Soften the back of the throat. And contemplate how you communicate your communication style. Do you express yourself freely, openly and honestly? Do you hold back? Just breathe into that area and observe without conclusions without drawing conclusions or needing to change just observe And let's go into shoulder stand. And knees over the ears. and roll out of it this is a beautiful pose for scoliosis it's a good management maintenance pose lower down slowly bring your hands behind your knees and rock yourself up to seat it and let's bring the feet in front of us forward fold lengthen and lower down inhale coming up right foot into the left lower down Opposite side, keep the length of the spine. Coming up, double pigeon, flex the feet, very important. In pigeon, always flex the feet, and in general, when in doubt, flex the feet. When there is a lot of joint stacking and bending
opposite side. Stacking the knees over the, the knee over the ankle, ankle over the knee, shin bones on top of each other. Breathe into your hips, the way the belly holds. A lot of the trauma is stored in the belly, in the abdominal area, same. We store a lot of our experiences, not just in the hips, in the fascia, in the hips, in the abdominal area. That's why oftentimes with massage or yoga or other manual therapy, we can find ourselves releasing and feeling sad, aggravated, angry, uh, crying. Those are forms of releases. And I personally believe that the future of psychotherapy will be through the body because we don't have to realize a lot of things and oftentimes a lot of things that trouble us, we don't know about them. So same goes with healing. We don't have to completely mentally with the brain understand it because if the body learns or unlearns, to release trauma and to renew and to stay fresh and present then the mind the psychology will uh, follow the psyche and coming out step your feet to the front and just give me a little swirl hip swing Table top, stacking the joints on top of each other as usual. Great. <sighs> Cross legged seated, reaching side to side, side to side, side to side, side to side. Hands behind you, pop the chest open, look up. And you can even lift your hips. Great, all right. <sighs> Hands over the heart. Thank you all for joining me today for this, um, I would say intense class, what would you say? And let me know what you would like me to add to our future Sunday classes, Sunday yoga classes. This one was obviously not a traditional yoga. It was a interval yoga. We'll have a lot of everything, but post request below and I cannot wait to see you on Wednesday with Hit Wednesday. Namaste.